Hello guys, welcome back to Sadiq's Rabbit Tree. My name is Sadiq, a young and passionate rabbit farmer here in Ghana. So today's video, I actually want to share with you guys what I've researched about rabbit marketing, right? Tips that help farmers to effectively sell out their product, right? So if you are new to the channel, just don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button right there, and I just created a new Twitter channel which I also post content on that side as well and i'll be creating a community over there very very soon so if you are new to the channel just don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that like button right there and join the community as we all push rabbit farming further further more now basically every rabbit farmer's idea is to sell out all of his or her product whenever he or she has some available right now the question is how can you market this product how can you get people to come and buy your product right so that's why i want to give you this tip that can really really help you to sell out your product very very fast and effectively now number one thing i want to talk about is understanding the target market right so what i mean by understanding the target market is that uh, whenever you have product for sale you know the people you, you are intended to sell it for or to sell it to right you know the people you won't see that for example you have rabbit to sell right you have rabbit to sell and you're going out to the um vegetable sellers that okay i have rabbit to sell right what's your intention that they would maybe come and buy it none right they won't buy it because that's not the aspect that's not where they are specialized in right so if you understand the target market then you will know which people are like demanding for your product right so you having a rabbit to sell you should be intending to have other farmers or other beginners who want to start to come and buy it from you right so understanding the target market includes you knowing the right people to sell out to and how you can approach them with your product right you may have the product you may approach them with it but if it's not in the right way they might not take you seriously like the way they will take others seriously right so once you understand the target market then you are good to be selling off your rabbit and the second thing i would want to talk about is product differentiation right so there are many farmers out there like any like every area you go they are farmers right but what make your product stand out from the others will, will make it's more appealing to to people right so you having to sell off your product you need to make sure that your product will stand out from others right so that they can approach you as the seller right in order for them to get the product from you but in a case where um, you are branding like the way others are doing you are packaging like the way others are doing you are advertising like the way others are doing then your possibility of selling out your rabbits will be much more difficult right because you are having someone's technique using it thinking that it's gonna work for you meanwhile the person who has been using that technique has been back testing it or has been like using it for a while so he or she understands it more than you do so you should have or you should know the product differentiation before selling off your rabbits now someone might think that if I say product differentiation it means that maybe uh, selling off the rabbit you should have a way of packaging or no I'm not talking about that you see sometimes every beginner has a passion for the farming right and he or she wouldn't venture into it just like that he or she would have like the mindset that okay this is the reason why I'm venturing into the farming right I'm venturing into it for meat I'm venturing into it for manure and um, pesticide or any other thing right so if one person is going for meat purposes you can go in for breeding purposes right like other farmers will come to your place get new breeding stock to start with or you can go in for just collecting manures and urine for other people to to use right so you should have your like idea or have your mindset before you can start selling out your product the third thing I want to talk about is branding and packaging. Now, most of us have been having some um, uh, difficulties at this area, right? Even me, 
I have been having some uh, difficulties at that area as well. So branding and packaging really, really helps you to stand out of the others, right? So that's also the product differentiation. So you having a different branding, you having a different packaging will make your stand out from the others. Meaning, if it's appealing to people, then they are coming to, sell, to, to buy it from you, right? So having a good branding, having a good packaging. Now with a branding, uh, you can have uh, um, these designers to just have a, a good logo for you for the farm's name or some nickname you give to the farm having your everything set up you place it in front of your uh, house or let's see at your community you have a billboard then you just place it over there so that people will know what you are doing and know exactly why you are doing it right so that they can come to you and buy now with the packaging many people like many many farmers have different way of packaging their meat right which is also the product differentiation right so with this packaging some uh, some people will use like um, this ziplock so once they slaughter the rabbit they will just remove all the parts put the meat inside the ziplocker and just let it freeze before selling it out and others too would want to like um, slaughter process it or grill it before selling it out all of this is part of the packaging and also product differentiation which can make yours stand out of the others the fourth thing i want to talk about is online presence right so there's this advice every farmer should should know right if you want to start uh, making progress in your farming it starts by your own community or by your own people right you're starting to sell rabbits off you will start with the people around you slaughter one give it to them let them taste let them have all that benefits from the rabbit before you start selling it out to them right so now with this online presence it helps you to um, be engaged with more people outside your community or in or within your community right people might think that okay you starting a farm yes you started a farm and you should have people around you to just be buying your product always right it, it it is not possible right so you need to go out there there's nowadays social media is just like a, a a marketing board right people are just marketing their product out there try it and see how it goes for you and it really really works with the social media handles it really really works right so at least you'll be having customers here and there asking you prices asking you that okay they are beginners they want to start they, they've been uh, watching you for a while now and you've been inspiring them so they want to start you see so online presence really really plays a major role when it comes to rabbit marketing with the online presence too it really helps you even if you are not into certain aspect of the rabbit farming you can just include that to your um, advertisement right so for example if you are into the rabbit for meat purposes then you can say that okay if you would be paying for um, the, the manure and urine right when you just collect it you pay for the um, trash cans to come and pick it up right so you would say that okay you will include this to your advertisement right so whenever someone wants the manure or the urine you can just at a cheaper price you can just sell it nowadays it's it's more expensive i know so you can just sell it off as well now the other one i want to talk about is the local market and partnership now this point is where many farmers won't agree on the same mind right won't agree on the same mind right so with the local market you would go out in the marketplace you will be like um approaching people like the butchers around you will just be approaching them okay i'm a rabbit farmer and based on my record i i can supply you with this number of rabbits per month this number of rabbits per every two weeks or each and every way you want to do it right so with the local market you will go out there and find people approach people introduce yourself to them let them know who you are let them know what you do so that they can just come to you whenever they are in need of it now with the partnership yes that's where many farmers won't agree on the same mind why am i saying this you see um 
as a rabbit farmer, you should you should know more farmers around you, right? Not like specifically your area or your community, but you should know other farmers, right? So if you have a, a, a huge demand, then you can just go to them and you can get from them so that you can just add everything up and supply. And why am I saying farmers are not agreeing to this? You see, in Ghana here, we don't have um, fixed price for certain things, right? So this farmer, farmer A would say that, okay, I would be selling three months old rabbit for um, 100 cities. Farmer B would be saying, okay, I will be selling mine 80 cities. Farmer C would be saying, I will be selling it for 120. Now, just let me know in the comment section, how would you um, supply a restaurant in need of 50 rabbits, right? In need of 50 rabbits, you have only, let's say, 20. You are selling yours 80 cities and you have only 20. And the, the other two farmers, they are selling theirs for 120 and 100 cities. If you combine these 50 rabbits together and make your calculation, would the money, would the money you demand from the uh, restaurant, will it be enough for all of you to like uh, get your shares in it? It won't be, right? Because every farmer has his own way of uh, doing things because of the cost of um, like expenses of the farm, feeding and medication and all other stuff. So many, many farmers have different ways of selling rabbit. That's why somehow partnership becomes much more uh, uh, complex, right? When it comes to the rabbit farming sector. And the set one I can give to you is build customer relationship, right? So building customer relationship helps farmers to have customers each and every day, right? Whether the market is good, whether the market is not good, right? Having a customer relationship with your customers will help you know uh, the demand for your product will also help you to analyze your profit or, or your gain right so with um, customer relationship it will help you to know how people interact or how people are interested in the product right and you should just analyze or go through all this and know how to be pricing certain things for them right in order for them to be um, inquiring you to other friends or other people out there who want some of your product, right? So, in once in a in a year or you should just be making some discount, some promo, you know, for your customers, like back to back customers who come to buy your product each and every day. Like when they are in need of it, you just go, you talk about the price. The pricing is good between both of you. The pricing is good and. It, just you, you see so that you can build this relationship between customers you see so that you can have back-to-back -back supply for them and it seems building customer relationship will be one of the easiest way to be selling off your your products right the last thing I want to talk about is having a marketing channel now with this marketing channel it can be both online or physical or any other way you want to do it right so with the online as I said, social media is now a source of income to many people out there in a good way, in a good way. It's like main source of income for others, right? So you advertising your product will help you to gain more customers throughout, right? And also building marketing channels physically can be you having, you see when you go to the market, we have some people selling um, poultry in single cages around and you can just go get a spot and because with this i've now i've never seen some in our local markets here like someone having these single cages like the way they do for portraits and having like few rabbits over there selling and showing people how uh, good the rabbit meat is right so you should just take <laughs> a step further and just try that as well I'm not saying you you should yes if you are capable of doing that your area your local market you know that yes there are potential of like there are people in need of it then you can just try it and I'm sure it will really really work for you so 
this is what I have for you guys about tips that can help you sell off your product easily and quicker right so if you are new to the channel just kindly smash that subscribe button if this video was helpful just click that like button right there and as I said earlier I have just created a Twitter account and I'm planning of creating a community over there as well so I'll be leaving the link in the description below then you can go check it out and until next time peace